Well, Virginia, of course, put recreational marijuana sales on hold this year. Well, now lawmakers are cracking down on something called Delta 8, another substance found in a lot of retail stores. 10 News reporter Courtney Lockie is working for you to explain why it's being done and how that'll impact local businesses. You can find Delta 8 and other cannabinoids in stores across Virginia, but a bill that's headed to the governor's desk could change that. These products have marijuana in them, which is illegal to buy or sell. We're talking about throwing the whole industry under the bus to take care of the bad apples. The move follows an increase in calls to poison centers. Virginia Hemp Coalition President Jason Amatucci agrees these products should be regulated, but this bill isn't the way to do it. After all this back and forth, we finally got some settlement. And now what happens? A law that would literally criminalize 90% of the hemp industry out there right now in Virginia. It's just so disheartening to try to keep up with all these regulations as they change again and again and again. The bill would require products to be properly labeled and tested for potency and purity. It also only allows for less than one milligram of THC per product. The bill, the way it's written now, will destroy the hemp industry as we know it. Hemp farmers like Joe Kuhn are protected by federal law. This makes many question how it would be enforced. What are they going to be? The policemen are going to go to every CVS and every Kroger and take this stuff to the Department of Forensic Sciences and make sure that it has less than one milligram of THC per product because it's going to be all the products out there. Amatucci and Kuhn are asking the governor to veto or amend the bill to protect farmers, businesses, and people. Courtney Lockheed, 10 News, working for you.